What a wonderful gift we have in the person of our Blessed Mother. We would be very, very lacking much if we did not have this woman of faith and generosity for us and with us to intercede for us. And whenever we look at our Blessed Mother, there are many titles, Our Lady of the Sorrows, Our Lady of the Rosary, Our Lady of Mount Carmel, Our Lady of whatever, we see Mary as the diadem that reflects the light of Jesus so beautifully in her person and allows us to see how important it is to love Jesus and to do his holy will. And so on this feast and solemnity of Our Lady of Mercy, I like to quote our Holy Father who once said that this title of mercy is a significant one for all the world because what the world so desperately needs is the mercy of Jesus and Mary so exemplifies that in her life and in her person. Today we celebrate when our Blessed Lady went to St. Peter in Alaska in August of 1218 to start a new community for the ransoming of Christian slaves. Now, she told St. Peter in Alaska, she gave him the scapula and told him to start a new community with his brothers and later his priests to ransom Christian captives from the enslavement of the Moors. And that's the fourth vow that, that, the third or, that, that our order continues today. Now how can this feast be all of ours today? How can this help us to grow in love with God and to imitate our mother? There are three ways I think that are beautiful. The first way is humility. We have to realize that our ego is always in the front of us or behind us. We want to do our will and not God's will. Mary so beautifully teaches us how to say yes, totally, freely, generously. Totus tuus, remember, is the motto of great Saint Pope John Paul II. We need to make that our motto too. We need to grow in humility and how hard it is to grow in humility. We need to ask God for the grace and continue to ask God for the grace. St. Augustine once said, the hardest thing for us to accomplish is to be humble. The greatest sin, pride, pride, pride. So let us work on that and let us ask our mother to help us. And that's the first thing that we can work on. The second is being generous. Our Blessed Mother was generous in her time and effort and all that she did. And notice in the good times and the bad times when she was the mother at the crib, but when she was the mother at the cross. She was always willing to do God's will and she was always willing to be more generous, to do the more. And so God asks of us tonight to always try to do the more for him. And Mary is our intercessor before the throne of God. And that's why it's so beautiful in our homily, in our gospel today, that Jesus entrusted Mary to St. John, but he entrusted to us, to all of us, a mother, a mother who will help us in the sorrows of our life and the heartaches to always ask God for his grace and to endure not only the good things, because we like to endure the good things, but the heartaches, the crosses. And Mary so beautifully did that at the cross. And finally, because the Mercedarians, uh, this feast, is to ransom captives 
we also need to ransom